Hello fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with this most current uh, comic book haul. It's uh, from the right around the free comic book day time and forward. So it's going to be a really quick video. Don't I got maybe a short box, three quarters of a short box to go through. So not a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, always fun times when I can show off some books I bought. Uh, this These first little group of books are all new books and recent releases uh i get them for like 20 percent off and i don't know uh, if i like the covers i end up getting them so this is harley screws up the dcu number three danger street i like these serial covers i don't know why i think this is number six or something like that um this is uh, what is this the hulk 14 alex ross variant uh, some Scotty Young's Edge of Spider-Verse number one, Groot number one, Guardians of the Galaxy number one, X-Men 21, uh, Venom 18, I think this is a double, and that's it for the Scotty Young's. And then uh, this is a Vampirilla number six, this is the Ultraviolet uh, Perillo variant. Uh, and the one I was the most happiest to get is I'm always a sucker for uh, Hulk 340 homages. So here's um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi number one, one in ten variant. Um, had a garage sale. Um, they call it the Garage Con. My garage is big enough that I can hold... Uh, myself and two maybe three other vendors we each get like three four tables and um this was uh, i didn't pick up much of anything but um i did find a few books that i was interested in that of the other vendor there were two other vendors and myself there uh i found this negan variant of bill sienkiewicz to walking dead number 186 um, I don't even know what the hell this is called, AD or something like that. Just really definitely a cover by, it's an mmm, as uh, um, Beauty would say. Uh, here you go, uh, Poor Man's Comics, I know you like the Christmas covers. Uh, Evil Dead 2, A Merry Deadite Xmas, and another Christmas cover, and Ghostbusters, so it's really up... Uh, your alley poor man's uh ghostbusters a very scary christmas international ghostbusters international number nine the variant this is the variant to teenage mutant ninja turtles 127 and this is probably the one i was the most happiest to find there is the secret avengers number 10 the um is it a one in 20 i think uh lego variant 125 lego variant so yeah, happy about that. Okay. Um, okay, went to uh, high price books, as I always call it, or half price books, as some of you call it. Um, the, the found these here. This is the new Golden Age one. There are a ton of first appearances in this, so uh, too many to go over. But yeah. For three bucks, I wasn't going to leave it there. Finished my Dark Knights set. Uh, I found Batman, the Dark Dawnbreaker, Batman, the Drowned, and Batman, the Merciless. Uh, this I only picked up because it's an octopus cover, and I know those are kind of uh, popular with people. Grim Fairy Tales, number 25. This one I was pretty happy to find there. I got it for like eight bucks. Go Go Power Rangers number eight. Uh, this is a Hulk 340 homage, and it's the first appearance of the Ranger Slayer. So yeah, uh, that's this book here can easily sell for thirty bucks. Uh, Dark Water number one. Re Red Sonia versus. Tholza Doom, just an mmm cover for you there, beauty. Um, found some McFarlane Marvel Tales. This is 237, 238, and 237. Um, Tales, 
Tales from the Gray Bella Lugosi number one. The reason uh, I'll come back to this, let me just show the last two real quick. Um, Albatross Exploding Funny Books, anything with Goon on the cover. And I think this is an alternate, but I can't really find much details on it, but it's still Albatross Exploding Books, Exploding Funny Books number one. So now the reason I like this, A, it's a great series. Number two, the Popeye one is awesome. But I didn't realize it until I got home and I was bagging it. Uh, let's see here. Bring this to a screech and halt. All right. Is the back cover is a Bruce Tim cover. I hope you can see that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'm a big Bruce Tim fan, so ha very happy to get that. So if any of you are a Bruce Tim fan, um, you might want to put that on your list. All right, let me get these out of the way. Okay. So now, um, for Free Comic Book Day, I went to two different places, and which is really odd for me because I normally stay the heck away from Free Comic Book Day. It's just too crazy for me. I just dislike it immensely, but I kind of figured it out. There's one shop I like quite a bit for free comic book days, and I just go later, and I just seem to find okay books there, so case in point, I'll show you, um, but I found, I was able to finish uh, a couple of my new 52 sets. Um, if you're not familiar with what I mean, the new 52 did about 23, maybe, different weeks where they did uh, a theme throughout the entire um, uh, catalog of titles. And some examples, the more popular ones are the Steampunk, you've got the uh, Lenticulars, you've got the Batman 66, um, the Mad Variants, the Bombshells, on and on. So uh, another one that they did was the Darwin Cook. Uh, and these are the two that I needed to finish and they were all vertical like this So uh, this is Batman Superman number 30, 17 and they're all really cool covers and flash number 37 So finish that and then my Lego variant uh, I only needed one which was Supergirl 36. So happy to get that Oh this I got from eBay uh I know Poor Man's Comics collects these. They're uh, um, uh, McFarlane Spider-Man homages, and uh, he kind of got me suckered into it. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but this is Lethargic Number 3, an ex hard-to-find, expensive book. Um, most people ask about $100 for just this book right here. Uh, this book seller had this book and this book and i spent considerably less than a hundred dollars for the two of them this is the the one and then this is the ash can version so happy to get those add them to the collection all right so now back to the free comic book days um so there were two shops like i said i went to one was the first one i went to was just doing a sale and they did like 25 percent off uh, and the next one was 50% off, except for books that were in the case were 25%. So this one, I think they're all a little mix mashed here. If they are, please forgive me. This came from the 50% off Amazing Heroes uh, with uh, Uncanny X-Men on the cover. Uh, Wildstorm number four, Jim Lee variant. I believe this is Jim Lee. Um, yep, Jim Lee. Uh, Batmite number five. This is an a uh, X Men giant size X Men number uh, one homage. Uh, Captain America the movie uh, cover. G Spider Gwen number four. This is Perillo, I think. No, Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks cover. Uh, Adventure Superman Adventures annual number one. This, I just really, really like this cover. Batman Adventures continues number six. Uh, it's a Carrie Andrews, Carrie Andrews uh, cover. Uh, Super Friends number 11, I believe this is for my Super Friends run. Uh, Turtles Adventures number 44, getting up there in the numbers there. 
Uh, this is Perillo, I'm pretty sure. Spider Gwen Shadow Clones, number one. Yeah, it's Perillo. Um, and it's a, yep, Perillo variant. Uh, Savage Dragon 145, the Obama variant. And uh, this one I was real happy to get. Uh, Vampirilla Strikes, number one, the Milo Minara variant. Big Milo Minara fan. Um, Adam Hughes, Vampirilla. This is like a, uh, a collector thing. Uh, this, this is an, uh, redo of an earlier cover he did for Vampirilla Strikes, I think. Um, but got, got that. Uh, Spawn 294, extremely happy to finally pick this book up. Now I have everything from Spawn. I have one through 303 consecutive done. So, uh, very happy to get that. Um, these, I was super, super surprised. And they were like, uh, $3 or $4 each and half off of that. So this is War of the Independence, The Vengeance, which I think is the second series, uh, number one. Um, this is about a $20 book uh, any given time, maybe $25 on eBay. Uh, this one, pff, wow. If you don't believe me, check it up. This is about a $100 book on eBay. Uh, War of the Independence, number two. This is the maybe the first all black superhero uh, comic. Um, I know there's some earlier like Lobo and other ones that were like one character, but this is like a team or a whole thing of the whole universe is is, is uh, African American. And uh, like I said, this is a hundred dollar book. Uh, if you don't believe me, check it up. But War of the Independence number two. Uh, I know Beauty Comics would be interested in that. Uh, in the big, big book. I couldn't believe it. Like I said, this is this came from the second shop. And um, I was just about ready to pay. And for some reason, I looked down in the case. And I saw this book. And I go, man, can I see this book? And they pulled it up. And I said, is, this, are, is everything attached? And all the pages are there. He goes, oh, yeah, everything's firmly attached. And everything's there and I, and it was $200 and uh and less 25% so 150 bucks I couldn't pay fast enough for this this is uh detective 230 the first appearance of mad hatter so now um I work I'm working my way from the uh the latest uh or the most current to the earliest um, first appearances. And chronologically speaking, the next one I need is Batmite, which is Batman number 92. Um, and so, yeah, just really, really happy to finally take this one off the list. So that was my big book. Um, so now let me get these out of the way. And then I got one magazine and we're gonna end it with the doubles. So here's the magazine that I got. I hope you can see this. I'm just going to tip it, turn it. So this is uh, Special USA, and there were several of these that, um, if you're a Dave Stevens fan, you might want to look at these. The Special USAs, they're from France, I believe. Uh, and uh, like I said, he did several, several, several covers for this magazine. Um, so I found this on eBay. Um, he sells quite a bit of these. I might buy some more off of them. We'll see or not. But yeah, happy to get that. All right. So now these next ones are for sale and or trade. And speaking of which, I'm sure that this is going to post after the sale. But I do plan on doing a sale in case I post it before. Um, but if I do post it after, <laughs> uh, I hate keeping wobbling back and forth. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, always taking advantage of the sale. I really, really appreciate it. This will be on IG. This sale will be um, if if you uh, and so look at my IG page. All right. So found Dark Horse presents number four. I believe this is uh, this is the first appearance of Resident Alien. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four 23, the uh, Marvel Zombies, uh, Adam Hughes, Rose and Thorn number one, 
Tomb of Dracula number one. There's a first appearance in this. And, you know, with, with Lilith and Blade and all that, it's only a matter of time before Dracula starts getting hot. So I grabbed it. Death Gallery. I will pick this book up every time I see it for two or three bucks. This, if you're not familiar with it, it's just a bunch of pinups, but it's got Adam Hughes in it doing the Dolman number six, I believe it is, the foreign book that goes for three, four, five hundred bucks raw. So if you can't afford that, then this is exact uh, uh, artwork is in this pick book for considerably less. Um, Batman Red Death. Batman Murder Machine of the Dark Knights and Devastator of Dark Knights, as well as The Batman Who Laughs, uh, Spidey Super Stories number 26 and 38, Marvel Tales 201, uh, reprints the first appearance of um, Captain Britain in the U.S., all right, so then these War of the Independents, when I found those others, every one of them had two of them. Um, I believe it was two. Maybe this one had only one, I think. No, I'm sorry. They, every one that I found did have two. So I grabbed both of them. Uh, and I already own number one. So when I saw this, this is number three. This is a double. And like I said, this is about a $20, $20, $25 book. Um, Vengeance of Vampirilla, number 11, still polybagged, badass, just a homage to 129, another badass, homage to Steranko, Vampirilla, this is another copy of that Adam Hughes Vampirilla, I found two of them, uh, Green Arrow 19, the Mad Variant, uh, sticky, sticky, sorry. Uh, Batman and Robin Adventures, number 10, 18. I love this Joker cover. Boy, why are they sticking? Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures, number 3, I believe this is. The action figure variant. Batman Adventures, 23, with Poison Ivy. Uh... Fantastic Four 247. This first appearance of, I think it's Dr. Doom's Kid, I believe. Um, Terminator of the Burning Earth. First Alex Ross uh, artwork, I believe. Wildstorm, number one. Another Jim Lee cover. Ballistic, number one. Uh, early Michael uh, Turner. Sex and Violence, number two. Adam Hughes. This is He didn't do the cover, but he did all the interior artwork. All right, so then here's the other two, and I just did them as a set. If anybody wants them, I'm selling them for the set for 100 bucks. It'll also be in my for sale. But uh, So you get number two, which I said sells for about $100 by itself. Then you get number two or number three, and you get um, the number one vengeance. Each of these are $20 to $25. Number three and that number one vengeance. You get those two and this one. So it's about $140 to $150 value for, for $100. Uh, then I also found Xena Warrior Princess number one of The Wrath of Hera. This is signed by um, Gordon Perel. Purcell? Perel? And it's the infamous hot tub cover. Um, Rot in Ruin number three, I think that is. This is kind of a double whammy if you're an homage sucker. This homage is Hulk 340 and the Vanity Fair cover of Demi Moore. Uh, Lobo 60. I couldn't believe what this book is selling for. Uh, probably a, at least a $40 book, $30, $40 book. Uh, Femme Force 19, first artwork of Greg Horn. She, Psyblade number one, first Witchblade. Marvel Tales 137, um, homage, or as uh, reprints, uh, AF 15, or yeah, AF 15. Um, Spider Man, and then these are all Maximum Carnage books I found. Um, Spider Man number 36, I think it is. 201 Spectacular. 
and 203 I always pick up these maximum carnage ones so and that's it so like I said it's a quick video man it's barely 20 minutes um but yeah so anybody who takes advantage of the sale if this is after I thank you thank you thank you it's my one way of supporting my comic book at heart uh habit here so um so thank you for taking this journey with me Van Cruz signing off